Hello Youtubers, I'm Parwis and this is our 28th video in Qt5 C++ GUI application development. In the previous video we have talked about different kind of gradients in Qt5 C++. Uh, in this video we are going to start database programming in Qt5. So Qt5 supports uh, different kind of databases like MySQL, SQLite and some others. So in this video particularly I'm going to show you how you can connect your MySQL database into Qt5 C++. So first of all I'm going to open my WAMP server. I'm using WAMP server and I want to create a database uh, so that I can use that. Okay I'm going to call it Qt5. For right now I, uh, I don't want any table for this database just uh, a database name. So now Qt5 database is created. And after this, I'm going to create a new file or project, uh, Qt widget application, uh, Qt5 uh, database. I'm going to call it Qt5 uh, database. Click on next, uh, next, and finish. Okay, now uh, we have created our project. And uh, first of all, uh, you need some imports. Uh, first, you need to add uh, in your open your dot profile, and you need to add SQL in here. So, after this, close this and save all. So, and open your header file. In the header file, we need to add Q Qt SQL. Also, you need to add QSQL database. Uh, Q SQL uh, database. Oh, sorry. Q SQL uh, database. Okay, like this. Now we have added this. Also, open your form. Uh, we are going to add a push button in here. So change the name to uh, database connection let me make it bigger like this okay now open your main window.cpp file let me open this in here like this also in the header file I have forgot to add a Q message box Q message box okay uh, now open your main window and right click uh, go to slot make a slot so now first we need to create a uh, our QSQL database object I call it DB and QSQL database add database and in here we are going to add our database engine because we are using uh, MySQL I'm going to Q MySQL. There are a lot of engines that you can use. We have SQLite, we have Oracle, but right now we are going to use Q MySQL. So now DB dot set hostname. It is a local host. I'm going to give it one and the local host port dot one. And after this, we need to DB dot uh, set username. Uh, my username is root and you need to db dot set password I don't have any password and db dot set database name so my database name is qt5 now I'm going to uh, create an if condition if db dot open if our database is open and it means that it is successfully connected and we're going to give a message box Q message box information parent is this and the title is connection and we are going to write database connected database connected successfully like this okay else if uh, for some reason there's a problem uh, occurred 
we need to give a message box that queue message box information this the title is not connected and we are going to give it database and it's not connected <coughs> like this okay so now if I run this uh, I think we will receive an error and uh, uh, by this reason uh, I will say that why we have received this error so now I'm waiting and it will be built I'm just waiting for this it's a little slow uh, I don't know why but it is uh, building so let me just check my web server that it's connected yeah and I have a QT5 uh, database in here why it takes so time I don't know yeah now it's okay now if I click this and you can see in here uh, database connection database is not connected and you can see in here available drivers QSQLite, QMySQL, QMySQL3, QODBC and like this so uh, uh, I believe that you will also receive this error these errors this is why because we haven't uh, added the uh, MySQL DLL so you need to download that um, if I don't forgot I will add to uh, uh, the link to the video description but you can simply search in the Google and lib mysql.dll and lib mysql.dll you need these two DLL so I'm going to just copy these two DLLs like this and you need to open your Qt where you have installed uh, Qt 5.11, uh, 5.11, MVC 2015, and in the bin you need to add these two. Just paste it in here. Yeah, now we have added. And now uh, if I run this, let me just run it. You will see that. Uh, yeah, now you can see database connected successfully we don't have an error so first of all you need to download these two DLLs you can just search in the Google Google sorry you know, libmysql.dll and libmysql.dll so for some reason if I change my database name to Qt I don't have any Qt database if I run this and after running I am waiting for this uh, now if I click on database connection you can see database is not connected because I don't have any Qt database and if you give it Qt5 and run it you will see that now it's connected successfully now if I click database connected successfully thank you guys if you have any question please let me know and for the further videos please subscribe to my channel